Hey, morning. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for asking. What do you mean, where am I? That's our university. Don't you recognize the background? I've just left a lecture to give you a call, so stop kidding me. All right, I've got uh, the money transferred uh, to my checking account, which means that right now we are ready to pay for the infrastructure. And I started writing that trading logic over the weekend. Uh -huh. By the way, have a look at that logic. Uh, I've just pushed the changes to our Reaper a few minutes ago. Good, nice. Speaking about the money, now we have cash to pay for cloud infrastructure, but I want us to pick a cloud environment. I know from past experience, this is an important decision to make. What are your thoughts? Uh, Google Cloud Platform. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good with Google Cloud Platform. I have nothing against it. And moreover, I launched a few services back in the day there. So it's going to be easy. And uh, you know what? I'm, if I'm not mistaken, you're a certified architect with GCP. Right. That's why. That's why I'm suggesting GCP. Anyway, next question. Uh, what's about the database? If you don't mind, I'll go with Postgres. You know, I just used it throughout the last 10 years. You like Postgres too? You me high five. Nice. Okay, then Postgres. Uh, but I had another question that bothered me. Yep, speaking about the managed service, I don't want us to manage the database. So remind me the name for Postgres managed service in uh, GCP. Yep, All right, Google Cloud SQL. That's why you are a certified uh, architect with GCP. All is clear now. You go and check my code. I need to hear your thoughts on how to optimize the service that subscribes to the and read the marketix. There is some bottleneck that bothers me, and I'll go ahead and provision a GCP infrastructure and uh, set up uh, uh, Google Cloud SQL. Deal, deal. Bye bye now. Talk to you soon. All right, folks. Let's get some real job done. That's Google Cloud Platform, if you don't recognize it or if you use another cloud environment. What I've already done so far, I've deployed a project called Yugabulls, and this project is going to host all the resources and services associated with my fintech application. Speaking about the first uh, services, I have Google Cloud SQL running. To remind you, Google Cloud SQL is a managed version of PostgreSQL by Google. So I, as you see, I already take advantage of this cloud infrastructure. And my next step is to get my application connected to this database instance. Let's do that. I go to the SQL uh, dashboard. That's my Yuga Bulls Google uh, SQL instance. It, is, uh, it, it, it runs PostgreSQL engine, as it said before. And all my application needs right now is this public address. Let's copy it. Now, jumping to their application. The source code uh, and all the binaries of this application are already uploaded to a dedicated virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform as well. So we are going to use you know, only the cloud infrastructure. And I'm connected to this virtual machine from my personal laptop. So that's the source code and the structure of my uh, Yuga Bulls application. Sorry, folks, I cannot show you the source code. It's proprietary. But uh, on a serious note, uh, I just don't want to spend time on this. If you want to see the logic, etc., just uh, send me a note. What we want to do right now is to get the application connected. And here is we have the properties file uh, that was pre-created for Google Cloud uh, SQL database. So here is what we have. We are going to use the JDBC driver for PostgreSQL, the standard one. Uh, username, password that I set for my database, port number, and all I need right now, the only one missing parameter is the server name or the public IP address of your database. You can always switch to the internal private IP address whenever necessary. Right now, for my tests, I just use the public one. Let's save it. So the application actually has already been compiled. And uh, that's the instruction that we need to use to start this backend. So that's the jar file. And we are going to use uh, just updated properties file that will connect us to the Google Cloud SQL. Uh, during the first launch, we want to create the schema and the tables and load some sample data. And finally, every five seconds, the application is going to print different statistics. 
what Yuga Bulls does right now, it will capture different trades uh, in, a, in a stock exchange and all those trades are going to be stored in our Google Cloud SQL instance. And, this, and what happens every five seconds, we are going to print some statistics on how many trades uh, we accomplished and some other different information. Let's run this application. Okay, we are connecting, created the structure. And right now we are waiting for the first trades and the trades are coming from another remote service. So here, as you can see, the very first stocks, we print the five top uh, most popular stocks. So generally the application is running and all the information is stored in Google Cloud SQL, managed version of PostgreSQL. So here is, if you go to the query insights, jumping back to the Google Cloud Platform dashboard, you will see some of the commands that are being executed in search, selects and creates that we just uh, run. All right, so the first step is done. The infrastructure for our cutting edge startup company is ready. And uh, the first version of Yuga Bulls is running and it uses Google Cloud SQL. What's coming next? What's going to happen with our startup company and how their infrastructure is going to evolve? You can see in the next episode. If that episode is not released yet, then, you know, ring the bell and subscribe to this channel to get notified. See you soon. Oh,